I got my FPV kit uh, hooked up finally. Um, go over this first. It's a the box for the monitor right here. It's a FlySight Black Pearl 7 inch HD uh, diversity receiver um, sticker. Um, it's all in one. It's just completely self contained. It's got built in battery um, and a charger that came with it so you can you just plug it in it charges itself and uh, you don't have to worry about running a lipo or anything uh, dual antennas bunch of uh, ports on the side of it I can focus you get different receiver inputs and outputs and then uh, HDMI what is that HDMI in so you could use this in theory with like an Xbox or something if you really wanted to um, but yeah, it's a, a really nice monitor. I'll, I'll show that turned on a little bit. Uh, the mount I have is a, uh, I found it from a, a company online in the UK. Um, they 3D print them and they're designed for the Phantom 2 or the Phantom controller. And, you know, I just, I like the, the style that it had instead of mounting it to the, the, uh, necktie point. So I still use that if I want. But, you know, like I said, that's just what I wanted for a controller. There's lots of, or a, uh, a mount. You can buy lots of different kinds. But, so I have the Phantom taken apart so I can show you guys inside a little bit of a time finding videos about this type of stuff. But, underneath, I have a uh, uh, Flytrex uh, Core 2. It's like a, a data logging. Um, thing it tracks all your GPS stuff and then you can download it and they have programs and stuff that use it but yeah that's that it just takes a little uh, micro SD card that runs up on this cable here actually let me turn the light on hopefully this will help a little bit more I might focus it better but here we have the cord for the Flytrex um, that comes up, runs through this bundle I made, and there's a splitter that came off of the uh, GPS module, and that just splits the signal, half of it goes to the fly tracks, the other half goes um, to your... Uh, your main flight controller, I think. I don't remember exactly where the other half went. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. It comes up right there. The little black connector comes up, and then it just goes into your motherboard. Um, let's see. I also have... And, like, so that's just for, like, data logging. I have the Immersion RC 600 milliwatt transmitter um, the antenna just some double-sided tape stuck it right there uh, that cable comes up that's this cable right here go I had to do four solder connections um, super easy I'm I work with electronics for a living so that's I'm, I'm comfortable soldering um, but yeah like I said I had four connections a little bit of heat shrink on them just to keep them nice uh, that goes, so I can move the stuff out of the way, this board right here, focus, 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 close enough, um, is the DJI uh, IOSD and IOSD Mini, it's called the FPV Hub, and what that does is it takes all of the, the cables and connectors from your uh, gimbal and camera, and the IOSD and kind of as a central point and it also has this cable that goes off to your uh, video transmitter which you still do have to solder those it's not a 100% uh, plug and play close but not a hundred percent let's see this cable right here that goes down the leg that is the stock uh, cable that plugs into the uh, H32D gimbal this little cable here that goes where that cable originally plugged in 
you just kind of swap them over and then this is your little jumper to get your uh, uh, gimbal information from the gimbal back to the main board because you, know, you plug it into this but yeah that's kind of just like the jumper that does that um, see the DJI FPV cable the ones that come with the Phantom that's this connector I believe it was plugged in right there you don't need that one you can just completely take it out uh, because this one right here replaces it and this cable goes to the IOSD mini which I just have uh, wedged in there that gives me my on-screen display for the FPV monitor gives me altitude, pitch, roll, speed, all that fun stuff. Um, let's see, and then many of your Phantoms, I forget which leg it's on, I think it's this one, it's a dirty leg. Uh, you'll notice that I don't have the CAN bus port on any of the legs. That's because I took it off and I ran the cable up inside uh, where does that one come from? I don't know, but anyway, I pulled it up inside, and that is right there. And that black cable coming out of it is for the IOSD Mini. Um, so instead of having that cable running down a leg, I just centralized everything inside, and you know I was able to zip tie it up nice and pretty. Um, yeah, and then I just have that sitting there. The IOSD and that I don't have secured. They're just kind of sitting there. They got they sit in there fairly tight, so don't have to worry about them falling out. But I'm pretty sure that's the basic install. Um, like I said, you just pull that cable out, completely get rid of it. Uh, if you're using the FPV hub, which I highly recommend it was very very easy to install and then like I said you have your IOSD mini just jumpers for the Zenmuse gimbal um, your power transmit all that for your video transmitter just running out the leg into it and then I added the flytrack system so what we'll go ahead and do now turn that on turn my monitor on a little splash screen and then turn on the phantom which if you're watching this video hopefully you know how to turn your phantom on and there we have the camera I'll go ahead and turn the light off so I can get some close-up pictures we are right back all right so we're back I can get a little bit closer uh, zoomed in on the, the screen. Um, it's a little bit choppy just because I'm so close. The radio waves are kind of hopping around a little bit. Uh, that up there, that is the phantom voltage. Yeah, I got 75% left. That is my camera voltage. My camera battery life and the number of satellites, which I'm at zero right now because obviously I'm inside. Um, I don't know what the numbers are on top. I'm assuming it's for like video, how much time you have left and like recording times. Um, you have your vertical speed in meters per second. You have pitch, which as you can see as I tip the phantom up and down you can see that changing and then you have your roll the diamond is your home so when you have your home point set right, right now I don't have the GPS on so it's not setting um, that will point toward you so you know if you're a couple hundred meters you know down range that will always point toward where you took off from so if you get spun around Watch the screen till that's facing forward, and then you can go. Um, have you ever seen or played any flight simulators or seen airplanes fly? They always have this horizon gauge. Uh, this has one too. It has the roll and your pitch. Um, over here is your camera settings, what the camera is currently set at. Uh, distance, 
or the D, I believe, is distance downrange, uh, how far you are from where you took off. Uh, you have your height, which is in meters, and, you know, I'm just lifting it up, so. I don't know exactly what AZ is, it's in the manual, but I haven't looked at that yet. Uh, ATT tells you what GPS mode you're in. Flip the switch, so now it's in fail-safe mode. And I'm just using the basic DJI uh, tune, basically, for it. So I don't have the straight GPS mode, it's only that ATT mode. But as you can see, you know, when it goes to fail safe, you do get that. And I'm, I haven't tried this yet, but I'll turn off the transmitter. And yep, went to fail safe. So it tells you everything that's going on with the Phantom. Uh, that is my uh, GoPro Wi-Fi, which currently I have turned off. We have vertical speed, tell you how fast you're going up and down, and then, then back up to the camera. So now if I can get both of these kind of in the same shot, it's very, very responsive. Uh, that was one thing I was kind of worried about, and I was really pleased with the response time. And see, I have it there. Kind of see both of them, and you know, as I'm turning the Phantom, you know, there's maybe a little bit of a delay, but you know, it's pretty much imperceptible. And you know, all of your uh, pitch and roll and all that just instantly updates. Really, really cool system. Um, like I said, it's a little bit choppy just because I'm so close. I did take the Phantom outside and left my remote on the controller, and I had a perfect signal. So it's just because it's so close, it's easy to get blocked. But I hope that helps you uh, a little bit. Um, you know, you're able to see my setup and how I did it, so I'll give you an idea. And if you have any questions, just leave them in a comment, and hopefully I'll be able to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.